This is... Print or Pass! Welcome back to another episode of Print or Pass, the review show where we take a look at 3D printer filaments and accessories and run them through a series of tests to determine whether you should print it or pass on it. Today, we're taking a look at eSun's PLA Pro. I have a roll here in olive green, so let's pop this out of the box and check it out. So in the box we have the filament which is on a plastic spool very nice it has some tips for printing their pla pro or pla plus and i can't really read them because i destroyed them and then i have uh, i guess a brochure for all the different products that they have but i can't read those as well eson recommends to print their pla pro between 205 and 225 degrees c Though they do note that most customers find that 210 degrees to 215 degrees Celsius is the sweet point and a bed temp of 60 to 80 degrees C. For the benchmark test, we use a XYZ calibration cube, a 3D Benchy, and then an all-in-one mini 3D printer test all of these models can be found at Thingiverse. I'll put the links in the description below. So the calibration cube doesn't show much, but it does show good results so far. The 3D Benchy, it looks great. There's minimal stringing and there's no deformations that I can tell. Uh, you might notice a line around the hole of the boat, but that's a common thing for bamboo printers. You can look on Reddit for that. Looking at the all-in-one 3D printer test, as you can see, the 80% overhang looks pretty good. There's one little strand hanging off of that, 75 degrees, no problem. As you can see, the bridging test, it goes all the way up to 25 millimeters with no problem. The stringing test looks really good, zero stringing there. Everything looks really good on these benchmark prints. So for strength and flexibility testing, I'm using the same two models across all printer pass episodes that are testing filament. So for strength, I'm using these S hooks that I designed and I am hanging a bucket from it and then putting these weights that I designed and made out of concrete with my 3D printer uh, to test the strength of the filament. For flexibility, I come over to my desk here and I clamp this ruler shaped print into the desk and then I pull down on it to see where the break point is. Other good PLAs that I've tested held about 25 pounds. So we're gonna start with one 20 pounder. All right, gonna add five pounds to that. Here goes another five. There she goes. So between 25, 30 pounds is what it holds with that little hook design. Time to have some fun. This is the mystery round. We're gonna spin the wheel, whatever model it lands on, we're gonna print that model. Do me a favor, like the video, subscribe, and put down in the comments a model that you want to put on the wheel, and I'll take a comment from this video, put it on the wheel for next time. Let's spin it. What do we got? Oh, Mr. Donald Trump. Whew. That sure is something. A little sumo Trump here running in 2024. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this thing. Overall, this filament did really well. Printability wise, it worked totally fine in my AMS unit on my Bamboo P1S. Uh, there was no stringing, overhangs looked really good, uh, bridging looked really good. Visually, it looks pretty good. It has a glossy finish to it. Olive green, I don't know if I would get that again, but I like more bright colors, but it still looks pretty cool. Strength wise, it did really well compared to the other PLAs I've tested. This is considered PLA plus or pro, 
but it held around 25 pounds as I was putting the next five pounds in to bring it up to 30. It broke the hook. In my other PLA videos, I've put 20 in, and when I put 25 pounds in, it breaks. So, you know, it might hold five pounds more on that tiny hook that I printed. So it speaks to its strength a little bit. Flexibility looked really good. I'll have to look at it in post when I edit the video to see the angle, but it looked a lot better than the other PLAs I've tested. So overall, eSun PLA Pro, that's gonna be a print. Thanks for watching. Put any feedback or comments down below and see you next time.